Hello all, Jay Grinnell here from Digital Learning with more tips on how to do great recordings for your lecture. Now what we've got here is what we call a talking head video. Uh, we won't always want to use those. As a matter of fact, sometimes you don't want to use them at all. Sometimes you just want to do a screen grab and that's perfectly fine. So what we're going to do today is just talk about a few basic tips that will make your uh, talking head video lectures look really good. So one of them you'll notice is that my head is right positioned, right in the middle. I have lifted my uh, my laptop, which is what I'm using to record it on, um, and I've lifted it up on some books so that I'm head on straight and makes a nice recording. You don't want to record from underneath, you don't want to record from too far up the top, you just want to kind of head best you can if you need to. A little high is actually not bad, um, it's a little better shot, so um, in your, in your uh, stuff, keep it straight ahead. As you'll notice also, um, the background is not too distracting, there's, uh, there's a university uh, Falcon over here, there's a couple of personal things on the other side, um, and uh, you'll notice uh, what they do is they kind of make it interesting without distracting too much, so keep an eye on that. Your neutral backgrounds are best, uh, your typical you know, library in the back or something that looks academic is good. Anything actually that works well, uh, I've seen uh, STEM professors, for example, sometimes record in the lab, which is a nice touch too, so think about what it is uh, that you best brings out your content. Uh, without distracting too much and you can make some great uh, backgrounds that way. You'll notice that the lighting is um, is kind of fairly even. I've got uh, some overhead lights and some lights from the side. Um, it's not a fancy setup. It's not one of those uh, light box setups which are great. When you notice the professional videos such as Apple or, or some of the other YouTubers even will use, they have a direct light ahead and they have lights on the side so what happens is kind of washes it out, brings the face out a little bit more. Um, and again, if you're going to do a talking head, the point is to be engaging and, and have your face in there. Um, so something to keep in mind uh, with your lighting, try not to have it at least all from one direction. Uh, uh, don't do it from the back, you will you'll have a halo. Don't do it with just from the front, you might end up washed out. So that's a thought as well. As far as sound goes, you'll notice I'm wearing a broadcaster headset here. Well, it's not a full broadcaster, it has the mic separate. But the point is that um, you've got your, your headset. Uh, it will make help you with the sound. At least, I would say at least test with the headset on, uh, if you, especially if you're using a separate microphone, which I've got off to the side here. At least you can get a good level and try to make sure you're not popping your peas too much. That's it for some of the basics. If you'd like a consult, contact us directly in Digital Learning. We're happy to come help you do a setup and try to figure out what works best for you. But the most important thing to remember again when recording a lecture video is that your students aren't worried about Spielberg level movie magic. All they really want is to make sure that um, you know your content and that you care enough to help them to get through it. And we can help you get through it to your digital learning. So again, get in touch with us for a consult if we can do anything to help you. I hope you have a really great semester.